focusing on where love is really to be found during this season of Lent. We so often look for satisfaction in things that cannot satisfy. We look for love in the security of powerful figures, certain they will fix things for us. This is not new. Our biblical stories tell of a Samaritan woman who looked for love in many places and still came to the well thirsty. They tell of troubled people longing for powerful liberators to bring justice to the weak, and yet the healing and well-being of another often requires breaking our own rules. New life, justice, deep peace can be ours if only we dare to follow the thirst quencher, rule breaker, Jesus Christ, with all who we are. As you know, we're celebrating the game of Scrabble. It's been around for 85 years, and we're talking about love. That's right, our Scrabble board says love. All right, let's do our echo poem, please. We come today, and we're here to say, we're looking for love. in just the right way. For Jesus is clear when we listen to hear his love for us is oh so dear. Wonderful, great job everybody. Okay, so I see that my Scrabble board has rearranged itself and it's saying shepherd-like care or care like shepherd. I don't know, but I do know what a shepherd is. Now, you and I don't probably have any experience being shepherds, but around the world, there are many people that are shepherds. They are people that watch over flocks, usually flocks of sheep, sometimes flocks of goats, sometimes even herds of cows. And shepherds often have a helper. They have sheep dogs, that's right. Now, sheep dogs come in all shapes and sizes, but they all have one thing in common. They have an instinct to keep a herd together. The reason a herd or a flock needs to stay together is to keep all of the animals in the flock safe. And Jesus often thought about people as a flock that he wanted to keep safe. And he wanted us to think about each other as all being part of the same flock um, so that none of us get left behind, none of us get lost and all of us stay safe. So he wanted us to treat each other with shepherd-like care. Now, how could I be a shepherd? Well, I don't wanna just be bossy and tell people where to go. Oh, but if I see that someone is getting lost, someone is feeling sad, someone is forgetting how who they are, I could 
give them some time and attention and love to help them get back on track. Oh, that would be that being like a shepherd. So one important thing that Jesus told us is that like a sheepdog, we have to have shepherd-like care all of the time. It's a job that's 24 seven. That means all the time. A sheepdog can't say, oh, I see that half the flock is wandering off into the woods, but I'd rather take a nap right now. Nope, the sheepdog has to go get them right away. And that's what Jesus wants us to do too. He wants us to respond whenever we see a need. Hmm, it's a big task. Are you up for the job? Are you ready to be a shepherd? Wonderful. All right, it reminds us again that God is love and love is God. Amen. to go